Welcome back, everyone. The doctor is in. Today, I'm continuing my discussion about writing for Technical Readout 3145. Today, I'll be talking about the second in this PDF series, the TRO 3145, Capellan Confederation. Previously, I spoke about the 3145 Mercenaries, which was the first entry in this TRO series. Today, this is the second that I'll be talking about. And what's interesting about this particular PDF product is that I found some additional documentation I did not find with the Mercenaries product. Specifically, I found the documents where I requested which units I wanted to write for this product. And I did not get all the ones I requested. I did get two of the ones I requested, and I got a unit that I didn't request. I don't know precisely how everything was assigned. My guess is that the one that I didn't request was also requested by no one else, and so they asked me to do it because I was always up for writing additional material if there was a need. So let's just go ahead and dig right in. I had three units in this book. The first was the Sheriff Infantry Support Tank. And I believe the reason I requested this particular unit is because I'd been writing the Colonial Marshals in the periphery and since I was already writing some law enforcement material for those pages in the various periphery books I think I requested it because I wanted to apply some of the same philosophy but in the inner sphere instead so It's a fairly standard write-up. I've got four different battles that I talk about in the deployment section. What I really wanted to point out was in, under the notable units where I have created a unit called the Hired Guns, which is a military police battalion on the world Warlock. And I was kind of proud of this because no one had ever used the name the Hired Guns. There have been mercenaries around race basically since the game was created, and no one had called anybody the Hired Guns and I'm kind of proud. It's a nice little feather in my cap. So I can say that I was the first one that actually named a unit that. After the Sheriff, my next unit was the Anubis. Now this was another of the units that I requested to write. And I had an ulterior motive. The Anubis, if you look under the fourth paragraph under Deployment, I'll read, the, I'll read the first sentence. The Anubis has long been a favorite of the Colonial Marshals. Since I've been writing so much material for the Marshals, and since the Anubis was, at least at one time, built on the world Detroit, which was in the Franc Reaches, even though the primary factory is Krimari, if you look at the uh, stat block on the left, the I knew that if I got this one, I could write at least something about the Colonial Marshals. I still feel a lot of ownership over the marshals. I care about how they're treated in the fiction and all the source books. And whenever I have a chance to write something about the marshals, I will take it because they're great. They're you know they're space cops. It's it's really fun to write them. And not only did I get to write about the colonial marshals, but I got to create the name of a new pirate band, the Glorious Mayhem which is a great name for a pirate band. I knew as soon as I thought of it that it was a winner, and I believe this was the first time I worked it into anything that I wrote. I love it. I wish I could write more about them because I want to expand out who they are, what their philosophy is, what their composition is. It's a, it's a great name for a pirate band. And I, I love the Anubis. It's a 30-tonner. It's a fast light mech. It really gets the job done. And it's just a fun unit to write, and I'm glad I had the chance. I'm glad they gave me that one, as it was one of the ones I requested. And now on the screen is the Vandal. This is an Omni mech. And what's interesting about this unit, it's not so much that they assigned it to me that I didn't request it. It's that I don't even remember writing it. If I hadn't found it in my draft files, I wouldn't even have known that this was mine. I find that 
a, somewhat amusing that I I wrote something and completely forgot all about it. I mentioned in a prior video that after you've written a few dozen TRO entries, they all start to blend together. So I guess in that respect, it's not that surprising that I forgot one, but it does surprise me that I forgot one completely. I don't even remember any of this. So I'm looking at it. I see that the third paragraph under deployment, I put in a, a another Canopian reference. So again, I'm throwing in some periphery stuff. If you've listened to my previous videos, you know that I wrote a lot of periphery material prior to this technical readout series. So I'm kind of leaning on what I've already done and using it to help me uh, with finishing off a, a TRO entry. And that's one of the things that you'll find is you build on what you've already done as much as you can and it's no different here. So that's really all I have to say about the Compelling Confederation entry in the TRO 3145 series. Before I leave, I just want to remind you that my newest book, Cats of War 2, is, has been out for a little over a month, I believe. And it's exclusively on Amazon. You can get it in print. You can get it for the Kindle. If you have Kindle Unlimited, it's free to read. This is four brand new tales of military fantasy and military science fiction with a feline twist. I'm quite proud of this book. I hope you'll give it a look. If you like my Battletech writing, then you have at least some idea of what I like in terms of military science fiction. So I've created my own worlds here in Cats of War 2. I hope you'll check it out. If you do, let me know what you think. Maybe leave a review on Amazon. And that's all I have for tonight. I'll talk to you next time. And for now, the doctor is out.